Hi guys. The theme this time is the C rotor axis. This is the most uncompromisingly designed axis on my 5 axis machine. This design took long time. It has a very unique structure to make my ideal machine. Since the A rotor axis can be placed outside the machine, there is plenty of space for parts to be placed. However, the C axis to be installed on the A axis is not easy. Because, due to limited space, it is difficult to miniaturize and lay out parts. Since the structure of the C axis itself is complicated, many metal parts must be made. Motors and switches need to be protected from coolant. Must design a frame that is strong enough to cut steel. I had to solve these challenges one by one. This time, I would like to proceed while explaining how these issues have been solved. Even when I designed the A-axis, I took a long time to think and design it. However, I spent more time to design the C-axis in order to create a structure that I was satisfied with. In the first place, the concept of this machine was to create a 100mm square machining range. And a 5-axis CNC, that can cut steel. Since I was focused on making small machines, there were few places to install parts in the first place. So I designed it over and over again using 3D CAD. I must always check, where the parts interfere with where. Since the movement of a 5-axis machine is complicated, and there are many necessary parts, it will be difficult to understand the movement accurately from my own image. It must be designed assuming that the tool is installed and a material to be machined is fixed. In particular, it was difficult to decide where to place the motor. The motor is very large for the machine. In my case, it ended up with this design. The point of this design is that the motor is not installed in the machining area, but it is placed on the outside. Even if the coolant is used, the motor will not be short-circuited by the coolant. If I install this big motor inside, it will definitely interfere somewhere. Placing the motor on the outside allows a wider machining area. Install the C-axis motor in the center of the A-axis. Now, even if the A-axis rotates 360 degrees, there is almost no possibility that the C-axis motor will interfere with anything. Have you ever seen a design like this? Don't you think I'm smart? My family is totally indifferent to my awesome activities. I think they are rather annoying. Someone please praise me. Please press the good button. Please write in the description column that my design is great. Please subscribe to the channel. If you do that, I can feel the meaning of living. I think that many people who want to make their own machines do not have a machine to make parts. This is a problem that must be solved. In my case, I first completed up to three axes and made parts with that machine. By the time I made the C axis parts, I had already completed up to four axes. Another way is to buy a home CNC machine and modify it so that it can machine steel parts. I wanted to have this earlier. This is because it is cannot machine the necessary parts during disassembling the machine. Since the stepper motor used for the C-axis is located outside the machining area, there is almost no possibility of short circuit due to coolant. However, the home switch should be installed near the rotating shaft. In other words, since it is installed in the machining area, it is necessary to install a cover to protect it from coolant. To make a tough frame, I needed to make a frame out of metal. For someone like me who doesn't have a lathe or milling machine to machine metal, it's impossible to machine large parts accurately. There is no choice, but to make it with available materials and making methods, or order to machine it contractor. Now that I have this lathe, I can lathe it myself. So, what is the internal structure? Let's disassemble it. This video series ends with this video. I will start seriously. First, fill up the tank with high purity fuel.
I think it is enough to disassemble up to this. These parts are made from anglers with 50 mm by 50 mm and a thickness of 6 mm. Because it is an available material for me. In fact, it is difficult for individuals to buy metallic materials. After assembling these parts, the screws attached from the other side are filled with putty. This is a worm gear. The M3 cap screw is attached here. It is used to activate the home switch. It will be explained later. This is a roller bearing outer ring holder. This part is made of 9mm steel plate. Because it's a material that I can easily obtain. When installing this housing, the four mounting surfaces should be slightly floating. File these four points to adjust the height. This floating amount is to be the bearing preload. The way to adjust it is to use this file. This is a worm shaft. This worm shaft bearing also preload, with adjusting this part length. This plate is an important part for preloading the worm gear and worm shaft. This spring is for preload of the worm gear and worm shaft. This part is to prevent the worm shaft from moving laterally. This part is for operating the home switch. The bar I just installed moves by being pushed by the cap screw attached to the worm gear.
I noticed it after disassembling it, the steel pulley is rusted and the belt is damaged. This pulley is also rusted. The aluminum pulley is less likely to rust, so I decided to replace it. It seems that the cause of the belt being damaged is that the position of the belt and the pulley slips. Therefore, I will make countermeasure parts to hold the belt. I don't have a replacement belt right now, so I'll order it later.
How was it? Did you enjoy it? I have prepared 3D CAD data for those who are interested in this 5-axis CNC machine and would like to make it themselves. I will put a link in the overview column. Some are open to the public for free. Please see if you are interested. Please comment what you felt. Please like button and subscribe to the channel.